Well, you can never get on the rails to do the video because they're all a bit They're all a bit scary. I don't want to hurt myself going back to work. Don't really want them to hurt themselves. Yes, Jesse! Um, you can't stop the younger one. He's like, ah, no, I'm just going to do this. But he's not linking his turns. Here he is. He's doing it sometimes. There you go, mate. You alright? But not all the time. Yeah, I saw you jump, mate. There's your brother. His brother linking his turns all the way down. He's a legend, really. Um, yeah, and he's not been coming that long. He's only had really three full days on it, ever in his life. And he can get down blues, <laughs> linking all the way. I almost jumped in the right way. Did you? <laughs> Okay, I'm just doing my YouTube video, boys. Do you want to say hi? So, you can cut out, I think, maybe. But do you want to just say, are you having fun? Yeah. Cool, right. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be, I might do a little bit more filming later on in the week. It's going to, it's good conditions. Now, it's going to get like really slushy and icy. So, uh, I'm not complaining though, I'll make the most of it. Um, but yeah, I might do a little bit of the boys. It's going to be hard. Might just ride with them in the slower bits. Because I've got to watch them, you see. I've got to make sure they don't go astray. Um, and they go at completely different speeds to each other. So that's a nightmare. And, and you're not very good at listening, are you, boys? Let's go! Okay, we're going. We've got to go. See you later. I'll give it a go. Just going down on the um, I've got my lads with me. So I'm sort of watching them as well. And the conditions are changing. Like, obviously, it's going to be really soft and so edges are getting caught a bit more from the old boys. Yeah. Like a, uh, a nice Bloody hell, he's tanning it. He is absolutely, just he's absolutely tanning it. But he won't do his eels. Right, I'm gonna flick you around now, see if I can film them coming to me. All right, so how much of this I've got? I think they might, right? So, yeah, here we go. Here they come coming. I can just see them now, so they weren't that far behind. They're talking about going into these trees over here on the way up on the lift, so I don't know if they're gonna do it or not. Yeah, this has gone in. Oh, it's not. No. I did say to him, he, he, he can tow and heal, but 
he can link his turns, but I did say to him it's hard to get when you're in the tree, you've got to make that decision quite quick. So I'm hoping he don't. It would just kill him if he spends all his time trying to go in and out of there. Right, here they come. That's better. Just come down to me, boys. To be fair, though, yeah, that's more like it. Just enjoy riding down. Just go heel toe, heel toe. That's what we're talking about. Just getting that out. Unfortunately, Don't be scared to link more of your turns down. Yeah, Jesse! Jesse's just like constantly skating and it's like. Oh, mate, you nearly had that one. Well done. With arguments. A massive argument with them. What you get? Basically, I don't know which way is the best way to film. I'm not sure I'm not. Right, they're in front of me now. Obviously a bit safer when they're in front of me, but when you're behind them, obviously you can get to them if they hurt themselves when you're in front of them. In case of... What was that, a twig? Is that a strap off you? The strap? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, when you're... Go on, get down then, boys. When you're... Um... When you're uh, when you're behind them like now, if he, if he has an issue, I've got him, ain't I? But yeah, when you when you're not, when you're um, when you're in front of them, you just let, I'll let him go a bit. He gets a bit. It's nice for him to ride this last little bit. He's just got to get over this little mound here. He's just got to pick up a little bit of speed off this bit. Um, basically, just go, mate. Oh, I've got to sit on my Yeah, um, what you want to be doing really, if he kills all his speed here, I should be raging. Right, he's trying to miss that ski school. I see what he's thinking, yeah. It is hard because. There's a lot of ski schools going down, it's getting busier. When it gets busier, there's not a lot of snow. And it's being chopped from left to right what snow there is. So you literally, you're hitting ill conditions here. He's gone, he's gone. Fair play to him. So he's off there now, look. He's off in the distance. But it's to your right, it's right over here somewhere. But he's linking his turns, he's got it. He's gone. So now, he's so far in front, I can have a little bit of a boost. And, um, you know, you don't want them to go too far out of sight because they, it's, it's quite, there's a lot of places they can go wrong, right? And we're early days, but um, they'll, they'll, get to, they'll get to grips with the location of it soon enough. But even so, you just want to make sure you can see them, you know, especially the nine-year-old. Um, because they're on the mountain at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, I just, I like being in front of them because I can film them and wait up for them. But it's been a couple of times, we're only a few days in, but I've been in front of them. And like, I'm waiting about five minutes and then really they're just they're just messing around. Like, all I've had is laughter. But in that time you can't oh, they're injured. That's what I mean, there's so many injuries here. Never bloody never man down. Man down! Yeah, look, well, look, that's what I mean. And that bottom bit, let's put a skidoo up, someone's properly down. Glad my boys didn't stop. Yeah, the old medic pack on. Yeah, so I'll just come up, have a few beers when I'm with, when I'm with them on the lifts. Just try and, it relaxes me, you see, that I'm not too tense with them, because I get a bit, I get a bit shouty. I can't help it. Um, I'll make sure they're gone. Yeah, I get a little bit shouty. I can't, I've always been like that with them. And uh, that's one thing I'm trying to stop doing with mine. I keep turning me, got this massive mitt on, I keep turning me phone off. Um, yeah, I'm going to go down now and catch up with them because I just realised I'm telling you that I want to be with them and I'll just let them go for like, like two minutes. I'll see what someone's happened there. I'll see what might, might go past this bit there pretty chill and just see what I might have a little doze, do you know what I mean? This is the worst bit though, getting up on the heels when you're 40 years old. Yeah, it's 
soon as you get out, you're right into like a load of skiers. I feel sorry for this one. He's hard. Get on my stairs, Yeah, the kids are doing really, really well. There's a lot of people about at the time, so I just then just trying to negotiate around people. No, I didn't know what Ellis was doing, stop. Lean back a little bit. Yeah, um, uh, basically, yeah, basically, stop, because there's so many people stop sitting in the park, which is him, and he's thinking about what they're down there. You know, he's got some fan in his roof. And you kind of got to do that. Oh, they're waiting for me. Oh, boys. Um, yeah, that's what you've got to do. I've got to plan the route. Now I've got to make sure I'm okay. So, boys, you okay? Let's keep going then, boys. That's it. You first snowball, that one, mate. Telling them to do. I don't know if they'll listen. We'll, I'll film it now. But yeah, I can't complain because I had a friend who went Morzine at uh, New Year in his ladder himself because it was a lot icy. So, and then I just spoke to a person on the list now who's went to um, Al Alvimore, Alvimore, no, not Alvimore, Alvarez, I think, which is near Morzine. Yeah, hey, yeah, that was quick. Fair play, mate. Hello. Yeah. Um, and uh, they're saying there's no snow there now. I know they had a dump because I spoke to another lady that went that way and she said that they had a big dump just before half term. You right, Jess? So I know they're getting it, but snowball in your hand, that's it. That's a priority, isn't it, really? Um, not too close to you. I'm just trying to get these boys not to stop right next to each other and twat each other. But, um, yeah, but so I'm not grumbling. You know, if I'm hitting ice here, but look where I'm at. You know, it is like bare on the sides over there. There's no snow over there. I will say one thing, the Bansko Resort, like people say all sorts about this place. Yeah, some of the staff are a bit miserable, but of course they are. They're not like, they're not, um, they're not getting paid the most amount of money, are they? And they're see they've only got a limited amount of time to make money. It's been cut short by the weather. Um, but 90% of the people I've dealt with have been great. The restaurants have been fantastic. Um, the the uh, the people working here, doing the lifts and stuff, they've been brilliant. And actually, the, there's a mountain road here, so you can ski in and out. Well, ski, ski in. Uh, and basically, that that's how you that's how you miss the ice, boys. Go through these trees. Look, that's how we can miss that oak ice patch. Yeah, um, the mountain road, they've kept it open. There was literally no snow either side of it, and they've kept it open. I just think that's phenomenal. Um, and it's actually, I went down, I've been down it three times now, just to get home. Um, brilliant. You know, well, I can sit on the ground for 20, 25 minutes, or I can just sit on my board for 20, 25 minutes and just take it. It's beautiful, it's all trees all the way down. So you're getting it down to that town there. So I can snowboard from here down to the town. I can be there in about 30 minutes. You know, yeah, I've got to go through a bit of ice and a bit of slush. No drama, really. Right, you ready to go then? Your bum's ripped as well, though, now. Spend too much time on your bum boys. That's what I should call you, the bum boys. How do you feel about that if I start calling you the bum boys? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Well, there you go, then. What do you feel, Ellis? How do you feel about me calling you a bum boy? Why? Oh, because your, your trousers are ripped. Cool, there we go. New name for you. I'm happy with that. Right. Oh, we've left my pocket down open all the way down. Right, should we do this bit then, boys? Again, just control how many snowballs you throw in per day. Finishing touches to a snowball. Don't throw it at me, though, mate. Um, 
Well, if you do, you get, I'm going now, see so that with me. Right. Hey. You're going to do toes on this bit, Jesse. I oh, know that's heels for you anyway. Get him around the corner. But, um, yeah, Ellis now will be linking his turns now, straight the way down. But I'm trying to get him to rather than just because it's a big brow. Go on, mate, because it's a big brow of a hill. Rather than um, what I'm trying to do, rather than. Oh, that's such a lovely thing to say, thank you, mate. So, Jesse. That's that person we just saw on a stretcher now. So we're getting quite a lot of that, aren't we, Ellis? Seeing a lot of injuries, aren't we? I don't know, he's probably hurt something. He wouldn't be too, but way too much. Um, do you want to do a little review on this Fanta? Fanta Madness, what are you giving this out of 10? Nine. Nine? I thought you loved it. What are you giving Fanta Madness out of 10? What are you giving Fanta Madness out of 10, Jesse? 8.5. 8.5. Anyone knows where you can get this in the UK? Because is it better than ordinary Fanta? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, if you know anyone knows where like, you can get that in the UK, that's the power of the internet, reaching out to people. Do you know what I mean? Can you get that in the UK? Oh, I think it's elderflower and lemon, but I'm no. You want to? Yeah, just come, mate. I would like you to strap in there, mate. You got it. Yeah. So we're gonna feel. It's another one. Bloody hell. Pardon my French. Um. Uh, yeah. Wow. People are going down. People are going down. Right then. They're dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies, yeah. They're dropping like flies, man. You had some big injuries, didn't you? Well, you haven't, have you, Jesse? You're all right. I don't know what you're going on. Going on about your knee yesterday. Oh, yeah. oh. Loving it. Absolutely yeah. loving it. Jump it's still on, yeah. Before we cut out, but basically, there's a lot of ice here. There's a lot of slush, there's a lot of ice, there's a bit of fresh snow every day. Either once every two or three days, they do manage to fire the cannons up if it gets to minus four overnight, or we've had snow while we were here. But it's not, it's just giving you another day's riding, really. This bit here, this little bottom mountain road now, which takes you back to the top Gondra station, is kind of really really slushy um really really slushy when it gets into the sun further down but there's like a real optimum point of the day where that slush is quite nice to ride um before it gets too boggy and even then you just you just straight edge and almost you can always butter through those bits and it's actually quite enjoyable however on these brows and brinks of some of the hills that's just crystallising overnight and turning into ice and that's what you guys have just had haven't you on that top hill by the 180 bar it's just ice in patches um but i've seen a lot worse don't get me wrong we, we are making the most of it uh, especially with the blue skies i think the rapper's in it this one um so what would you rate vans go out of 10 jesse six out of ten what's that for snowboarding or just as a town double what about you, Ellis? What would you rate Vansko out of 10? Nine. Nine. What would you rate the snowboarding? Ten. What do you rate the food? Ten. What's your favourite restaurant so far? The house. The house. There you go. There's your review. The house. What's the best meal at the house? The ribs. Surely. Sure. Yeah, you're probably right. One kilogram of ribs. 11 year olds and you're eating one kilogram of ribs. I ate all of it. Yeah, I know you did, mate. Yeah, we were all watching that. That was mad. It was insane, yeah. No, five ribs. Yeah, five big sections. What's your favourite restaurant, Jesse? The house. Really? Yep. What do you have? Shrimps with mango sauce. Oh, yeah, that's it. Shrimps with mango sauce. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's actually really good food, to be honest. Well, I was here last year. The food's insane. Um, prices have gone up a little bit. The prices have gone up everywhere, haven't they? Um, uh, but it's still really cheaper. Anything local seems to be really cheap. So they're like pretty decent with like their, their pork, egg. Uh, beer, anything they're sort of providing is stayed at cost really, so it's the same cost as last year. So, right, I'm going to cut you off now. I'm going to get going, aren't we, boys? Yeah. Get down to the bottom, see them, maybe smash out another little run on Kalaski. Kalaski was good fun yesterday, and Tadorka's good fun for the boys. That's red, and they're, um, yeah, they're handling that, which is nice. But, uh, end of the day, just stay on the blues because they're just they're holding up the best. And my, that's what a ski instructor told me as well on the lift. Right, I'll um, see you in a little bit. It's up to him, mate. Don't, don't, don't need to boss him around, mate. 
Don't worry about it, just go, you're fine, whatever you want. Right, I just want to include this quick little clip, just at a point where I am mowing that, just to, just to show that he is loving it, his little brother. You know, he's nine years old, he's a tall order for little legs on a mountain for six days, but he just gave it his all. I could not be more proud of him, could not be more proud of his older brother as well. Just absolutely loving it, and um, yeah, just getting the best out of it. Fair play to him. Yeah, what are they doing the slush? Oh, Jesse. Yeah, there this. This is proper slow. Oh, that is slow, isn't it? Yeah, just concentrate on staying on your board so we don't have to walk, mate. That's better. It's really slow. It's easier to get easier something done because it's slushy so you catch an edge like so many people fall. It sucks a bit, this is the only way to get that down, but... Oh, he's there. Oh, he's getting a little bit of a head start, and we'll get him. He's got a dodge on his gears, man. Goggles on. Just get round him out, don't worry about it. He's not bothering, he's not sharing. Let's go again. It's so it's horrible here, mate. Well done. Get up as quick as you can so you get ahead of them. Feel for him. It's nice because he gets the ride, but it's like. Honestly, it's like skills. Right, hold back, just let these guys go because they're just side to side all the way down. It's such so frustrating, he's done man. I feel for him, but he just gets so busy in this bit. It's a lot, it's a lot. It's a lot. where people are catching their legs.
Yeah, not much longer after. And Jesse's coming down. There he is. Just he floats down like a little saucer. A little saucer. -er. Sorcerer of the spit of the saucer. He's like on a tray, isn't he? Could say something else on a tray, couldn't we? But he gets down. He can do his edges, but he can do his turns. There, yeah, see, so he can do it. Little bugger. He loves it. He does love it. He can do it. He just. Why are you spinning 360s out? Why are you spinning 360s out there? But why aren't you linking your turns at the top? Because I know you can. Yeah, I did it last So nice on this bit, just to spin around. Hey, Brett was gone, look. Yeah, goggles, good shout, Jess. Didn't have mine on. Yeah, anyway, he's looking after. He's just jumped it. Oh, Jess, I was just in a jump down there, it's a little jump. So off again. It's a pretty steep bed. Here he is. Yeah. Oh yes, Jesse. He's switching out these little. He's always doing little turns. See so now he's riding. Oh no, it's goofy. He's goofy. Nice turn, Jesse. Another little 360. What? Ah, uh, you're going to do 360. It's really slushy here, mate. Really, really slushy here, mate. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Is that your favourite room? Yeah. No. Which is your favourite then? The red. Oh, that is a red, but there's another... Tadorka. You like Tadorka? Yeah, that big one. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I feel a bit uncomfortable about keep taking you on Tadorka until you link more turns, OK? Is that fair enough? OK. OK, I'm going to go now. I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy this bit. Good man. Say... Catch, say catch up with you in a little bit. Catch up in a little bit.
on the corner. There's a little jump back there, me and the boys have been doing. I just forgot about it. Yeah, um so it's just sort of like a bit annoying in the filming. But equally it's not about that, it's like spending time with the kids. Uh, anyone that wants to come down to show I've only been twice. That's ice, that is flat ice. Yeah I've only been twice. It could be rock out there. Yeah, anyway. I'll probably recommend it. Oh my word, that is slow. Bit of butter in. Speed back up. I might just go now all the way to the bottom and meet them at the bottom because they, you know, they can do top to bottom by themselves now. Um, anyway, what I was saying was. Oh. Why is that boring? Bansco is just. It's like Europe's best kept, kept secret. Now, I don't want anyone to think that this is like, now it's not that amazing, but it is for cost. And what you're getting, you're getting the Alps feel. You're probably getting more of the Alps feel when you go out at night. It's the nightlife here is insane. Um, the food's insane, the restaurants, the, you know, everything about it. And yeah, okay. So well, I can get basically from the very top back to actual Bansko town. I think I did it in 33 minutes, 33 minutes, something like that. So I'm not a fast mode boy, I like messing around with things. Um, and that's, oh, and some of that, obviously I've got the kids with me. So it's not like it's a massive, you know, there's not a lot here. But what is here is fun. And there's always something going on. Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. I've had just amazing sunshine. Uh, like I've got now. You know, kids are picking up a town. Um, that's the only problem. This link road's a bit slow. I buttered. I figured out if you just butter, wait up. Then you can tan it. It's also a little cheap to stay on an edge. And it's good. And in case you get a fresh one for front day, it'll top fit for you. And it's quite good, I've not actually had any fun. It's not going to be a metal taxi around this two blue. So I can probably sit here now and have my beer. I oh, it's weird, a couple of beers with me. I'm back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, sit there and have a beer while I'm waiting for the boys. Might just do that actually. Yeah, hiya. Hello. Thursday the 7th. And uh, I'm on to the last, I think it's going to be the last run. I'm just waiting for them. Waiting for um, Ellis and Jesse, two boys. But basically, that's hard there because that snowball, that's what just made that. 
and they add in. Okay, there's a one. A bit of fresh snow. Just with water. Crazy white. I'm sweating. People are just saying it was too much snow going down from the top in t-shirts. Um, I'm just an old out. It's still good fun. It's just sloppy and slow and catching edges if you go too slow. I'm going slow for the boys. I feel sorry for me. I'm not complaining, but then again, I've said I've been waiting about five minutes now. Gave me a ten minute head start from the top. Went past them at the goat. Yeah, well, no, went past them at 180. Just after 180, I went past them. They were mate, they made that, I know they made that flat there. I mean, I should, I should be seeing them now, really, but. Yeah, so. This might be it for the season, I don't know. They do say they get bloody hell. to be say that you get a bit more come April but it's so bloody warm so warm mine's not going on it because I'm there I've got to see my two boys my wife's going to be doing that she's going to go oh. I'm going to go uh, they're here they're here in a minute the longer it takes her to come out, the better really, but yeah, watching this bottom slope. I see so many people just coming down their arse and catching edges, especially on snowboards. Thankfully it's really soft. I'll just call an edge. I've fallen over about four times in six days. And I've fallen over like the same amount today. It's just gone. <laughs> same amount on uh, on that run. So I don't know if I really, although the boys aren't hurt themselves, I don't really want that to be their memory. They're not quite yet there yet. They're there, that corduroy sort of top, freshly groomed tees first thing in the morning. Maybe I'm fully appreciating that. Well, maybe yeah, it is. You know, they do like it middle of the day when that them them, them bits soften up. But well, hopefully they'll come down and tell me they hated that. It means at least they're understanding it. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yeah, catch, you watch how many edges they'll catch here. He's just both gone over together now. Slow, that snow is so slow. It is 
you do. I know, that's what I was just saying to the camera. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be in a bad mood or not. Do you want to say hello to the camera, Amy? Hi. Yeah, I'll see what they're he might have been a bad mood, that's horrible. I've just, I'm, honest to God, I think I've fallen more in that last 10 minutes than I've fallen in a week. It's just I can't not. Eat telly when you sat on the chair. You see me fall? Yeah. I've never fallen on that, like, it's yeah, ridiculous. Like, yeah, I can't, but one of his bindings seems to be. Oh, Sassy, let him skate, let him skate yet. That's what he's got to be start doing. Let's see if he has a little stress. Oh, he seems happy now. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah, I think that's it done, don't you? Yeah, See if it's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah, but over by the bar area, it's just no trailer. Yeah. I'm going to do a 360. I filmed about two 360s, yeah, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can help. I'll do it, mate. That binding, that, for some reason, that, that, that binding just gets frozen solid, doesn't it? It's not obviously not frozen because... Yeah, it's why it took so long to us, because it's... I fell over with Jesse took me out. Is he? What you got to say about Jesse, your brother taking you out? Well, I can't improve that now, can I? Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, I'm going back up to the top, and I? So basically, I filmed Monday, filmed a tiny bit. I don't know when it was, it might have been yesterday, I don't know. Um, when I got here, so basically to sum up my, I'll try and sum up my week now, I might do another video because I want to waffle on after I'm watching the kids, I've just left the kids, they're not going to come up again, it's too slushy at the bottom and there's only one route out really, and that is so slushy and people are just catching it, honestly it's like domino effect down there, but basically it's lovely at the top still, plateau, down to snow park, um, even down to Mostar on that far right hand side, I guess there's prob possibly because the sun's over here, over there, and Mostert's right on the other side, even all the way down to there. It's like, it's actually pretty decent. Um, it's a bit sloppy, no ice down there, which is nice because I've had ice all week everywhere in places. Um, and just polished surfaces off the lift and stuff, doing nightmare getting the kids off the lift. Although they've not fallen, they've done well. But anyway, um, and then this Tadorka, this rev, that's nice, but because it's softened up, basically just mogul city so i'm not taking the boys down that i might even hit that now um but it's got so warm that like you're just seeing in a lot of places the the underneath uh, like i said i think it's really beautiful here the price has gone up since last year so last year i came out last minute i came out hour half done took my two boys out i could you know didn't break the bank to give them snowboard lessons for four days they're only they're not the best lessons i will say this but they are cheap and it's two two hour slots it's two places to do the average summer and i'm a firm believer in just letting my lads always learn from the group um just that's just how i like to teach i don't really like private lessons i mean there'll be a time now where i might say to one of them have a private lesson learning this but i'd like him to figure it out for himself or my lads and why not just let it be a bit more organic i'll always have a fond memory of this place anyway because of because the first place I bought him, but it's also the first place I've had runs with him. Going down blues, linking our turns, him pushing it for speed, him go him saying, Can I go into the trees? Can I do the little off piece to the side of the plateau? So yeah, I think it's a beautiful place, I really, really do. It's not premium snowboards, it's not premium skis. He, 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 he'll, he'll slip 
probably switch halfway down the mountain and just backside turn, go front side then to going back to Goofy and just carve down the mountain. But not he doesn't do anything consistently. He's just mixing it up all the time and he goes so fast that he comes off. Um, so I've just jumped him on the magic carpet and just said, look mate, show your mum or show Eric, whatever it's gonna be, that you can just because they're gonna hurt themselves now with that box there, they're gonna start and they're, gonna, they're catching edges all the time and keep falling. Magic carpet's held out alright because they have the cams on it two nights in a row. Just go on the magic carpet then. It's not that it's not you know it's not even meant to be doing the snow day. It's just toe and heel all the way down. Because I know you can. You get what you want here, what you want to get out of it. Um there are some I'll tell you what. There are some nice little jumps as well, if through the middle section. I don't know what the, I'm terrible for knowing what the names are, but the middle blues, well, there's only, you know, the blues basically, after Plateau, is like all in the tree line. There is jumps galore down there. Um, just, yeah, like I say, if you want to dip your toes in snowboarding, um, which is what I've done for my two lads, I've done, I've done enough of it now, really. Um, I've not done a great deal, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty competent on the board. Um, but if you want to dip your toes in it, just come down to Snow. Because, well, for a start, everywhere does massage here. Thermal pools. Uh, there's, there's more to just snowboarding here as well. You're not just stuck in some... Because I went to, went to the Swiss Alps once, and uh, the town was so remote. There was just nothing to do. If I'd have been injured, um, and the same, I went up to Sweden. If I'd have been injured there, which I was, I was injured in Sweden, bloody hell, like, they had nothing to do. Whereas if I was injured here, there's something to do. Or if there was no snow, there's something to do. Anyway, I'm about to get off this lift now. And as you can see, last run of the day, I'm going to get off this lift. I'm going to go up there to the uh, plateau. Beautiful blue skies. Absolutely not many people out because either people have hurt themselves or it's getting a bit soft and slushy. It's getting towards the end of the day. Um, yeah, I'll um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I might just catch up with you. In a little bit. Um, Mountains go for a long way that way. You can climb. You see, anyway, they take you to the mountain down that side. So you see how snow, far from snow is in other places. This run here, this red, me and the boys have done this red. I think that's called Tadorka. That's beautiful. That is actually. That's lovely. That, I have to say, it just feels a bit sparse. I'm a bit of a. I like a little bit of. In, you know, like I'm a bit nostalgic in a way, I guess. Like I'm a bit of a. I like the trees, yeah, I like all the ins and outs, the little hollers, have a little mess around, I always do that. Um, yeah, and uh, that just seems a bit sparse to me, a bit out in the open. Came down this front today as well, this front 